Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel and today from this flat illustration we will create that 3D camera and if you're interested how you can do it in Adobe Illustrator then keep watching. This is size of my workspace and these are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial and if you want to take a closer look at the design and to download an original vector file with colors and my design you can do it on my Patreon page. The link will be below this tutorial. And now guys, let's start to draw. My workspace is ready and colors are already in the swatches panel. Let's take a light pink color, rectangle tool and create rectangle with these options 308 to 178. Okay. Now let's take direct selection tool and hold and drag all corners to round them. Now let's take dark pink color and rectangle tool, create the rectangle like this, it's the square. Now with help of direct section tool select these two points, hold and drag to round them. Now select the shape, hold alt and make the copy. Now right click, transform. Reflect, Vertical, OK. Select all elements, Shape Builder tool, hold ALT and delete unwanted parts. Now, now let's take a light blue color and rectangle tool. Create the rectangle like this. OK, now let's copy it. Hold ALT and make the copy. Now select these three shapes, Shape Builder tool, ALT and delete unwanted parts. Now light color and ellipse tool, create the ellipse. Move to the center. Now go to Object, Path, Offset Path and here minus 20, Preview, OK. And let's take this color. Now Object, Path, Offset Path and minus 5, Preview. It's great, OK, and that color, again object, path, offset path, minus 5, OK, this color, object, path, offset path, and now minus 30, too much, uh, let it be 25, yes, it's better, OK, and that color, OK, it's ready. Uh, now let's take rectangle tool with dark color and create the ellipse, the rectangle like this, make it smaller, move down and bring all elements to front. Okay. And now let's take this color and again rectangle tool, create here the rectangle. Now uh, make it longer and bring to back like this. Move a little down. Now free transform tool uh, and that option and move these points like this. Okay, now select this element and bring it to uh, front to front it's better and move a little down. Ok, uh, now uh, let's take this element and make it wider and move a little down. And now let's take uh, this light color and rectangle tool, create the rectangle here. And now hold 
around and drag to round corners with help of direct selection tool. Okay, select the element, go to object path, offset path, and minus three, no, better minus five. Okay, and light pink color. Now I can select these uh, elements and I think make them a little longer and now a little smaller. Okay. Uh, now we need to take pink color and again rectangle tool. Create here the rectangle. Move here. Print to backward or back. And now uh, dark pink color and rectangle tool. Create the rectangle like this. And make copy. And now Ctrl D as many times as you need it. Group that element, select all elements and align them and send to back. Okay, it's ready. The camera is ready. Now group it. It's very important to group. And now let's create the picture. Let's take this color and create the rectangle like this, make it a little smaller and now copy and paste it and play with the copy like this and take this color ok, let's preview the picture till you like the result make it longer and the same here uh, now let's uh, fix here let's make it smaller now select a line and that's all select and group it it's important okay it's ready Okay guys, all details is ready. Now go to Effect, 3D and Materials. Now select the camera and go with me step by step to create the camera from my tutorial. You can play with uh, elements as you like, with options as you like, but if you want to create the camera as I am, you need to go with me step by step and make as I am Ok guys, camera is ready, now let's select the picture and let's go with me step by step here.
ok it's ready now to make it more quality you need to go to effect document raster effects and select here 300 ppi ok and now it will be more quality ok it's ready and now guys you can select the design go to object and expand appearance and here expand appearance now you can make the details bigger for example like this okay make this smaller or bigger as you like select that color rectangle tool create the rectangle and bring the background to back now we need to hide this shadow uh, so we need to copy and paste background bring it to front select the whole design and make clipping mask well guys our 3d camera is ready hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about graphic design bye bye guys bye